This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to write user-defined data type in ML. We will talk about two examples here. After these two examples, the student should have no problem to do project four. Let's see. First example, write a function sum of type integer my list to integer that will return the sum of all elements in my list used above my list definition. So my list is defined in this way. Data type is a keyword, define new data type. My list is the type constructor. Take a, uh, argument is element. If this element integer created integer my list, is the element is real created real my list. If element is string, create my uh, string my list. So layer and cons, they are data constructor. Layer has no parameter and cons take two parameters. One is the element, another is List by list of those element. So first, we did a pay attention. Is this take me some time to figure out because this text editor I use, they will not handle this notation well. You see, after a type, you can see the slightly different between this one and this one. So if you type, it will be uh, different. It will not work. So in order to make it work, what I did to do, I did first uh, type the same thing on the terminal window, then copy it over. So let's say, for example, I will uh, cd to the uh, folder I save this file first, which is documents, video, then CSCI 461, then if I type SML, then I type data, type element my list equal either layer or cons of element by element my list. Okay, so I define. Uh, New data type. Now I will copy this one, then paste it to here. Now you see this notation is a little bit different. Okay. Now <clears throat> I begin to write those functions. So the first function is the sum. So the function sum, I use the pattern, the sum of my list. So if this my list is real, of course the sum will be zero. Or if this my list is not a deal, there must be cons of some head and the tail. The head is a, uh, a energy tail is a energy my list. Then this sum of course will equal what? Will equal head plus the sum of the tail, right? So let us save this and go to this terminal window, see if we can compile it. So I will use example four dot SML. So it's a semicircle, okay. Okay, in this case, let us first uh, uh, construct uh, my list first. So my list, for example, I will say uh, value x equal cons so this list have five cons, four cons, um, five, five, three, and Leo. Okay, now pay attention, make sure we have enough uh, parentheses. So what that mean? So we have at least a five, five, and a three, but he didn't show up all, all things. That's how it is. It's just they have more. Okay, so basically we have five, five, three. Now, if I call sum x, that's supposed to give you thirteen. Yeah. So our function is correct. Okay. Now let's see the second example. Second example. I want if you give me a my list, I want to reverse it. So in order to reverse it, then we first write a help function, which is append help to append a list after another list, okay? 
So append, we use the pattern. If I append the layer to a list, then this just simply will give me the list, right? Or If I append cons of x, which is head, and xs to l, then what happens? Of course, in this case, I will really append the tail under this l, then cons with the x. So this will equal cons of x, cons with what? Cons with the append. If I append xs with L, okay? Of course, in this case, I might want to put them together. Append here. Since I append either one, you have two here. If I append the layer and L, will just simply give me L. If I append the cons with L, right? Then it's uh, which the cons is cons the head and the tail, right? So equivalent, uh, I append the tail and the second list first, then cons with x. This should be okay. This append. So let's save it and try to see if our append works. So use example four dot sml. Okay. So do can append. So in that case, let us try out. So suppose I have a value x uh, equal cons uh, for Leo, that's one list, right? Okay, then I have value y equal cons three Leo, right? That's another list, right? So let us append. Append x y, see what it give to us. You see, you have four three. Okay, that's the list. So append is right. After the append is correct, then I try to say write down reverse. So reverse Leo is Leo, right? We use the pattern. Okay. Now, if we start a Leo, how can I reverse it? Reverse comes again. If you have head and the tail, how can you reverse it? Now this will just simply, I reverse the tail first, right? Then I append the list of the head with the layer uh, after it. So I call append. So I first reverse the tail, okay? Then I append the cons of the head and the layer. This is the list with only one element, is the old head. So I reverse the tail force, I append the head at the end. So this is just a recursive thing, right? We use this all the time before. So now let's say use example four dot sml. Yeah, we got it all right. Now let us uh, have a list. If I have list of five five three, so I value x equal cons uh, five. Cons, let's say uh, four on the Leo, okay? Let us make it a little bit simple. So it is one, two, three. So this gives you a list, is four, five, four. Now if I reverse it, reverse X, suppose give you four, five, okay? So if you have any questions, please send me an email.